Piccolo is a good example of this as well. He is Goku's enemy and the villain, who ironically ends up raising and becoming a father for Goku's son. Now let's look to Demon Slayer. Tanjiro is a demon slayer that has sympathy for demons. Irony. Nezuko is a <laughs> Mother what? No, that's ironic. No, no mother what? No, that's ironic. He's right. Are you wrong? A demon slayer that has sympathy for demons. Yes. Okay, so if we go to war with another country, are we not allowed to have sympathy for that country? Yes, ironically. Mother no. <laughs> It's about he's compassionate. I I don't understand what he's talking about. He says I can't forgive someone that kills humans, but I recognize your sadness. No, but the fact that he is a demon slayer and he slay and he feels sympathy for demons is ironic. And these are the examples that he's putting forth. Just to be like, yo, Zenitsu is actually good because he's ironic. He doesn't even feel sympathy for demons. He feels empathy with demons. Indeed. Indeed. For demons. Irony. Nezuko is a demon who loves humans. Irony. No! no! She's put under a spell she's to put love under a humans. literal spell. She the, has no choice. Because when she breaks that spell, she almost attacks a human. She has no choice. But that's not ironic at all. <laughs> It's ironic that this dog doesn't attack you. He's on a leash. <laughs> He's shaved to that tree. <laughs> no, but he wants to attack you, but he ain't. Hey, that man eater is eating bread. Irony. <laughs> I don't think that word means what you think it means. Here is also playing on irony. He's a weak, pathetic kid who is ironically one of the most powerful. How is it ironic? How does that excuse his entire character? How does that make him more funny? How does that make him more entertaining? Um, is he the most one of the most powerful? No, no, he is simply not. He took out two bombs in, in the twenty six episodes that we saw. He has one form that he has to go into. He has to go to sleep to go go into. He is most certainly not one of the most powerful. He and 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 Inosuke barely take out um. One of the six. After she was weakened and, and softened up. He, he most certainly is not one of the most powerful. I've seen no evidence to suggest that he is. We don't know the strength of the demon that he just killed here. We don't know the strength of, of the... He's not even the strongest in that group though. Because uh, in Tanjiro goes, this one has the smell of the strongest one here. And, and we don't know the strength of the little spider dude. So, it's meaningless. He ju He's just doing big slashes. So, he's a terrible character throughout the whole series. But man, isn't it awesome when he does this? And because of that, my God, he's a he's three-dimensional. He's, he's a weak character that is ironically one of the strongest characters. And that's what makes him a good character. Just Stop goes, I don't like him. I don't find him to be funny. He has three modes. And this dude goes... No, but he's weak, but he's also strong. He does have three modes, but the three modes are ironic, and because of that, it equals good. This is ridiculous. He's not He's not disproving what Just Stop says. He's just going, no, but you have to look at it through this lens, and that's what makes it good. Okay, but does it make it funny? Does it make his yelling any less annoying that we know that he's doing this ironically? Oh, gotta hit it with it. And that is why he's so appealing, even when you can't. No, appealing and I don't <laughs> like him and he has three moles are two separate things. Yes, I see the appeal of Zenitsu. I don't like him. I don't find him funny. He has three mo moles screaming about people. Except when he goes to sleep, it becomes awesome. And he can also, for some reason, talk when he's asleep and move and have autonomy. And, and can get hurt and still be sleep. That is why he's so appealing, even when you can't explain it. Of course, this isn't all you need. You just tried to explain it. You just explained it, <laughs> Did Look, you explain it or not? 
<laughs> I don't like him because he's not funny. No, but he's ironic. But there's no real reason to explain why, why he's a good character. There's no real explanation. Here's my attempt at an explanation, but there's no real explanation of why. So why even bring up the fact that Just Stop doesn't like him if there's no explanation as to why he's a good character or why you should like him or whatever? Appealing this is a non-point. Let him go, look, I don't find him funny. You can't take away the fact that Just Stop does not find him funny, especially since that's the only clip that you showed of him. We don't know the context of anything that he said before or after that. He could just be, he could have said something else involving his character. But he mentioned commonly, comedy almost exclusively, and you did not disprove that. And that is why he's so appealing, even when you can't explain it. Of course, this isn't all you need to write a good character, so hopefully... Our boy here gets more growth. Moving on. And he's a dud. <laughs> Zenitsu point uh, debunked. <laughs> he's ironic. Yep. And you can't explain it. Yep. But man, he's appealing and, and a good character. You're wrong, Just Stop. He gets development in the final arc, like 14 chapters before the end of the series. And then he regresses. And then he goes right back to what he was before. You are oh, yeah. wrong, Just Stop. I don't like this character. No, but he's ironic. And he's good, though. <laughs> but I can't explain it. But you're wrong. But you're wrong. Oh, yeah. We never actually got an explanation as to why Tan... Andro could see the deceased past students of Urokudaki. There aren't really any other instances of straight up ghosts in the series, and Urokudaki doesn't know what's going on, so I guess the only explanation is because Shonen Trope. Their souls are all at rest two episodes after we meet him anyway, so I guess it's all cool. Out of sight, out of mind, as I always like to say. Look, I get it. I myself am a fan of a hard magic system, like in Full Metal Alchemist or Avatar The Last Airbender. However, let's not act like soft magic systems don't exist in anime. Take this for example. Oh, you can't say I never gave you anything, kid. <laughs> and this is, this, I remember this comment exactly. And I, so I went, are you saying that this moment with Piccolo is bad? And that the moment, and, and that the power system of Demon Slayer is also bad? Why are you using this clip? Or are you, you, are you saying other things do it to excuse it here? You what if somebody just believes they're all bad? What would you say what, to them? What then? then? This this isn't this, an explanation. This doesn't disprove anything. You're trying to take a little bit of heat off a of demon slayer by going other things. Look, do this. Goku, uh, Piccolo, clothes beam. Okay, but what about demon slayer? No, but DBZ did a dumb thing over here. Okay, what about demon slayer? Yes, I agree. It was dumb. What do you have for demon slayer? You, you have to admit that this, your reason why you're showing this is because this is an unexplained thing. By going it's an unexplained thing, you're soft admitting that it's a bad thing. But you just don't want to say it because you like Demon Slayer. It doesn't make sense that the ghosts just pop up. And you go, yeah, I, I, I enjoy a hard magic system, but soft magic systems are fine too. That doesn't disprove the fact that ghosts just exist. There's no indication as to why ghosts should exist. Hey, there's, why didn't Tanjiro's family ever pop up for real? Why? It's always when they're all unconscious and stuff and like, save them. These people were tangible. He trained with them for six months. They had their own thoughts and everything. Autonomy? They were existing when Tanjiro wasn't around. Because they were like, you think Tanjiro can do this? What is that? You can't just go DBZ did a dumb thing. Stop. That's not good just critique. Pachoo, pachoo. That's not how you critique things. Do anything, kid. Even in super complex stories like The Lord of the Rings, there are random magic moments that are not explained, but we accept it because of how the story is set up. Now you can't just have random crap happening, but Demon Slayer definitely does not shove random magic or ghosts in your face. Demon Slayer has random magic about as much as Lord of the Rings does. The ghosts. Okay, I've never seen Lord of the Rings, so I personally don't care about that. Yes. Is it good? 
accepting it and it being good are two separate things. His problem was this happened. Yeah, but it happens everywhere else, so just accept it. No, I want better. The two things that you showed, I have never seen Lord of the Rings, so I don't know what that is. Piccolo uh, giving him a sword and, and some clothes does not affect the story whatsoever. These two people train him and are the reason that he is a demon slayer. And they are both unexplained. The fact that they are there is unexplained. The fact that they have autonomy and are tangible is not explained. And you're going, hey, whatever, other stuff do these things. It's, it's a child's sense. mentality. You're not thinking about this stuff. You're just going, no, but but this. You Come on now. The ghosts in Demon Slayer aren't so far-fetched that it pulls us out of the story. No, it's not far-fetched, but it's not explained, which was what his problem was. Why do they pop up? Why are there not more of them throughout the story? Why, Why do they it, just disappear? Why is it just a Tanjiro? Because his master was just like, what the f are you talking about? It's, it's, and it does take you out of the story when they train them. When they don't go, look, we dead. Here's what we did. Here's what you're going to face in that forest. Here's how you can defeat this dude. Nothing. And don't say it doesn't take us out of the story. You're not speaking for everybody. You're speaking for yourself. Because you're not thinking about this stuff. You're just going, yeah, ghost. Yeah, clothes beam over here. Yeah, whatever. You can just excuse anything with that mindset that it pulls us out of the story. Gandalf using a shield against the Belrog and then not using it any time else in the movies isn't so strange that it pulls us out of the story. I, I didn't see it, so I don't care. Explain Demon Slayer. And don't go, hey, other things also yes. did. Explain why it's acceptable here. Because it's acceptable elsewhere? No. Explain why it's acceptable, period. Why isn't Just Stop allowed to ask for better? Why isn't he allowed to go, this took me out of the story? And it pulls us out of the story. Also explaining the ghosts takes away their allure and would make them less interesting. Just that 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 was a previous argument <laughs> from the DVC video. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, we, we lose this allure if we go if we do too much, so we're just gonna do nothing. <laughs> How are people... How? Legit. How, how is... How, what is this how mindset? How can this be your mindset? What is this mindset? Yeah, it loses its allure. Okay, it's, it's never brought up again. And then, it, okay, isn't that a bad thing that if you explain something, it instantly becomes less alluring or not as alluring? Shouldn't the allure be that it was explained and it is good? Yes. As opposed to the mystery itself? And it's logical and it makes sense and it's explained why they can... like It's like Star Wars. When we go, why don't the Force Ghosts just come up here and just, and just wallop Palpatine? They have the ability to hold lightsabers and, and they're intangible so he can't swing on them or anything. And you just have to go, eh, yeah, whatever. We, we're, we're not eh, whatever people. You shouldn't explain things away with and eh, whatever. It loses its allure. Stop this it. whole mystery of why they appeared, the fact that they trained him, the fact that he is where he is right now because of them, it's a mystery. And if we were to explain lingering will or or demon spirit and when they get when people get eaten, that it, it it lingers around. That will take away its allure? Until the demon is killed? Yeah, that will take away its allure? Come on now. It's a bad thing. It's an unexplained thing. It solves a problem, and you're just going, and eh, whatever. And eh, whatever is a horrible... Don't don't even put this in the video if you're just going to go, and eh, eh, whatever. Just Stop then talks about how in Demon Slayer, the demon's backstory is always shown right before the demons die. Flashbacks are usually supposed to be given to characters so we get a better understanding of them as we get to go along with their story and see what makes them the way that they are. The same thing can be employed with antagonists, but most of the time you don't often see their backstory right as they lose or die. Just Stop explains that this is pointless. Backstory should develop a character, so it would work better if you show these characters' backstories at the beginning so we feel sympathy for them throughout the fight instead of showing them during the demon's last moments. 
Jones. You're right, that does work, but it's not the only way to do that. The point of the backstories being shown when demons are dying is to show the audience how Tanjiro feels when he kills demons. When the Okay, you can do that by sprinkling out the past throughout. Absolutely. So it's not just a hard, hey audience, hey, audience feel, feel something. Didn't they had a hard life? Aren't you sad for them? And now look, Tanjiro's sad for them. And now look, the demon's crying, so they're sad for themselves. Now that they remember everything. The Both the drum demon and the spider mom had their backstory told. Either, the drum demon was sprinkled throughout, and then we got full context when Razzie was dying. And then the spider mom, her backstory was told way before she died. So it, it has been done. It can be done. This is just, it's so emotionally manipulative. And yes, that's the point. That's the purpose of media. That's, that's the purpose of swelling music and stuff like that. Yeah. This is done poorly. It's poorly emotionally manipulative. This is, this is flashing the applause sign when you're in a crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't. I this don't, is a laugh track in a sitcom. Yes. I don't, hey, I'm supposed to laugh here. I don't know what this, who this person is, but it says applause, and I'm going to applaud. This this demon is sad, so I guess... I, right now in the WWE, they're in the Thunderdome, which is just a bunch of screens around the ring and stuff. And there is a person that says, Sasha Banks is a heel, so boo her. Give it up for the WWE champion. Big claps for the WWE champion. Yes, and they say that off screen. And then when Sasha Bank comes out, the audience is meant to boo. And that's what this is. It's meaningless. That as rude. It, it, I'm sure it will work on a second viewing. But in the moment, there's no reason why we should have legitimately some people have two chapters of backstory. That that number three guy had two chapters of backstory. Come on now. As he's crumbling to dust. I don't care. I haven't gotten a reason to care yet. And now as he's dying, it's like, oh, now I care. And now we're not going to talk about this demon anymore. So you have nowhere to put these feelings. They're just floating in the ether of, oh, I guess I kind of care about that dude now. What if you're reading week to week and this fight has been going on for eight chapters and he's and he's talking about his motivation and stuff and then you finally see all the context and stuff and go, yeah, I guess he did say something about his brother or, or his lost lover or something a couple of chapters ago. What then? You lose that as opposed to we know going in why Doflamingo is the way that he is. We know all about that. So as he's fighting, we know what he's fighting for. Now, there are some people that are just a wall, like Don Creek, and it's fine to be a wall. But nobody's trying to feel emotional for Don Creek. These people oh, are it's not trying to make you feel emotional. We for are Don meant Creek. to feel emotions as they are dying. That's not what you're supposed to do. That's not good storytelling. Because in the end, either I don't care or I actively skip it. And guess what? <laughs> I was actively skipping. Because I'm like, I, I don't know. We're done here. <laughs> this is the end of the fight, sir. Yes, we're, we're done. Make it the demon that was in the forest that the training for. That was like a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. Whatever. You do that. And we move on. In eight minutes in the beginning of the episode. Two full chapters. Now, now the number one demon, that was good because it was sprinkled throughout. And it also tied into the whole Tom Rose family son story, whatever. But but crap like this, as he's dying, I, why should we care? You've been I, a monster for six episodes, but now you're going to get eight yeah. minutes and I'm meant to weep? And and you're going, we're learning about it as Tondro learns about it? <laughs> Tanjiro oh. doesn't learn about it. He smells. He smells the emotion on them. <laughs> but he doesn't learn about their actual past. Yeah. He just goes, "Oh, I feel. I feel a great sorrow and regret from you. Smell, not feel. My bad. I don't feel that. I smell a great sorrow and regret from you." As as the demon in the forest is laying down, he's not like, "Oh, my brother." Though I hear, listen to my backstory. My brother and 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 I and it, there was none of that. He just goes, wow, they're kind of sad, yo, because I can smell it. 
how Tanjiro feels when he kills demons. When the audience sees Tanjiro fighting a demon, we see the demon as a monster. We want them to die. But it's not until they're about to die does the audience see that they were actually people at one point and that their death is actually very tragic. We get to see how Tanjiro sees- No, their death isn't tragic. They're monsters eating people. Yes. The doctor, when she dies, her death is tragic because she was just trying to make the world a better place. You can say her was tragic. But here? Absolutely Rui, not. Rui, who was beating up his family and killing them and cutting off their heads and just like do better? Oh, no. Yeah. Legit. And, and you're going, okay, let's make them us care about them. Why not before or sprinkle throughout? Why does it have to be as they're dying? This whole family thing it's just nothing until the moment that it gets con context and then you got four episodes of context that you don't necessarily remember it's it's it, it you sympathy whatever we can do that it'd be fine to do that not so much let's let's put it like that and sprinkle almost it throughout almost every demon yo almost every demon definitely all the main demons freaking um uh, the, 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 the twin number six demons, the little cowardly demon. We're, we're getting all of them. We're hitting all the marks. Demons. When these backstories are played for the demons as they're dying, this confuses the audience on how to feel. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. At first, we're happy. You're trying to manipulate the audience into caring and, and feeling <laughs> sad for them. We know how Tanjiro feels because he outright says it. He has a sad look on his face or he thinks, wow, this is, I smell so much sadness in them. I feel so sorry for them. I don't need to see the past to know how Tanjiro is feeling. Yes. He's not conflicted. So why would I be conflicted? He knows he has to do it. I have to cut your neck. I can't forgive you, but I empathize with your sadness because you were once a person and you're dying with regrets. Or you died with regrets. Keep man. Depends <laughs> on how to feel. At first, we're happy that our hero saved the day, and then sad that this happened to the villain in the first place. It makes the audience no, nope, not sad at all, because what does he gain by torturing people and leaving them out in the sun for like going? You wanted to run away from this horrible life. Now you die. What does he gain from that? He wants a family, but he's actively taking them away. He go, he's going, you disobey me at all, or you do anything that I don't want you to do, or you, don't, or you act out of your role whatsoever, and you're getting tortured. And or killed. And or killed. But he just wants a family. Doesn't seem like it. He's going about it the wrong way. Okay, why? This is, he's making these choices. He's not under any kind of spell. He's just malicious. So just seeing him crying and hugging his family now that he finally got a family, that means nothing because he was not acting in that way. It, it would have made a lot more sense if um, the Slayers were killing his family and he was going on rampages because of it. Yeah. Like he was going nuts. So how you dare you hurt my, my family? How dare you hurt my sister? I'm going to kill all of y'all experience with this show than with most animes and this helps demon slayer stand out so that's pretty much all the complaints i can cover because he then goes into the manga and i have not read it so let's wrap this up this show is fantastic and heartwarming and as far as pacing goes and story structure and character development and themes it nails it and that's why i say most of just stops right. complaints are nitpicked the story is fantastic. Wrong. Themes. The story all is that, basic AF. All that, it nails it. Themes? What it's themes? It's heartwarming as well. Yeah, because they go, hey, feel for the demons. It, he's he's right in all of the things that he said, even though he did not quantify it at all. He's just saying it. And he doesn't care enough to read on into the manga, so it can't be that good. <laughs> hey, I read the manga. Yep. I'm not a fan and I read it. What are you doing?
Once we Mr. got Mr. Fantastic Show. Once I caught up with One Piece in Thriller Bark, I went, all right, it's manga time. Once I caught up with One Piece in CP9, I went, all right, it's manga time. And I remember the exact episode. Chopper had just turned into a monster. And it went, and uh, Dr. Kurahai went, uh, somebody that does that isn't a, a friend or anything. There's only one word for it, monster. And he yells and he said, to be continued. And I went, where's nah. the next episode? And they went, next week. And I went, no, right now. And I went to that in manga. But, but this is another one of those, it's animation thing. He needs, to, he needs the pretty. Yeah. Otherwise, if you take away the pretty, you're just stuck with the story structure, the characters, and everything, and that is and that's not at best slightly above average. And, and it's if you want to be the most charitable. So, Dobbs' complaints are nitpicks because a lot of these complaints are are small and insignificant to the overall story. I'm how does Tanjiro get the f ink forms? What did he do in train to get those forms? Who cares? Why does the world, the government, the people not know about demons? Who cares? Denisu is a very annoying character and he's one third of the main speaking cast. Ironic. <laughs> I mean, I could understand if some of the complaints were about the story structure or about the character development or about the character's motives. Didn't you just say all of that was fantastic? So you wouldn't understand it. You would still go, no, that's a problem because these are all fantastic. And he, and, could you press play real quick? The character development or about the character's okay. motives. Or okay, pause. He talks about how much he doesn't like Zenitsu. And you just go, he's ironic. So he brings up a character that he actively does not like. And you excuse it with irony. So okay. whatever he says, you, you're you just going to excuse it. So 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 it's not like, oh, uh, I can understand. No, you couldn't. Okay. You need to defend this. And you do. Not well. Not well at all. Or about the character's motives or about the themes and how the themes are, are not consistent in this in this story but again Pause. most you everything you just said of i would understand if he had complaints about it uh you said it was fantastic so does that mean that you see the problems of all the things you would have had him complain about and you would have understood the complaints for because you do feel and see those things I think the themes are good. Just stop complains about the themes and say that they are bad. And you and you are saying that you would be like, I understand this. That can that cannot coexist. You would defend it if you thought if if just stop thought that the themes were bad and you think that they're good. You wouldn't go understandable and move on just because he's talking about something that you claim is substantive. Story, but again, most of just stops complaints. Are nitpicks and they're nitpicks because the story holds up in Demon Slayer. The un no, 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 no. That's not what a nitpick is. A nitpick is something that you point out that is inconsequential to the story as a whole or what's going on. Uh, but it's still a problem. Uh, like I pointed out in the first episode, the dude saying, When has drinking or eating ever been shown in Star Wars? and here's Luke drinking something. Okay, that's a nitpick. What you have a problem with Luke drinking milk. There is nothing, you take that scene out, nothing changes. Nothing. You take that complaint out, nothing changes. Car in the back of um, of Lord of the Rings. Um, there, was, there was a movie in It that didn't premiere until a year after the year that uh, the movie was set. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, in Derry, Maine, not Derry, Maine, in, in Maine, the police cars, they only flash blue, but in the movie they flash blue and red. Doesn't affect the story, but it is still a problem. That is a nitpick. These are not nitpicks that the world does not know about demons, except for some people who do. Why does old man know about it? He, probably, it? he might not even know about them. He might just believe in them. And, and, and we're not told about that either. If he had gone, my wife was shredded by a demon before me, that would be that would be something. But there's no reason why the world, the government, nothing knows about demons. If that man was on the outskirts of town, 
like everybody thought he was the person that killed his wife, but they couldn't prove yeah. it. So they put him over on the outskirts of town. He's like, Tondro, come in here because of the demons. My wife yeah. died for the demon. It's just like, well, this an old man. I don't believe that shit. Something like that. But that that is a that is not a small nitpick. That is a legitimate complaint. Because there's a whole village that has the dude opens up his in satchel and there's like eleven hair clips in there. That's eleven men women missing in this village yes. recently. Cause he says if I it's here, I've already eaten them. And you can't just go that that's and, and nobody's eleven people are gone missing. They go and hey, them people are just gone. That's very odd that they just gone. That's that's not a small nitpick. These people should know, and your excuse shouldn't be. It's clear to me that I'm assuming that the government is kind of in charge of the demon slayers from way back when. Understand what the goal is for the character. We understand the character's want. We understand the character's morals. Is that every story? We we know what they want and their yes. goals and everything in almost every story. How well is it done? Is how the issue. well is it implemented? If it's clunky, if it's forced, it's a problem. Tanjiro's family is just killed, and we know nothing about them, and we feel nothing about how them. How is that a nitpick? Where I don't get enough time to attach to them, so when they die, I don't care as much as I should. How is it a nitpick that we don't understand what these moves do? That we don't, that realistically Tanjiro should not be as good as he is. We don't know the difference between Water Wheel and, and one of the other ones. I don't know. Form 9 or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what, what makes Form 10 so special. That he, that he specifically had to bust it out against Rui. This is not a nitpick. It takes away stakes that once he's underwater, he goes, well, this move works the best underwater. And he just does it. Now, that would have been great if the uh, old man had him have some rocks on his waist and he's training underwater to, uh, to help build his lung capacity, too. Or if he just sunk to the bottom and just was, like, slashing and, oh, this is the best one underwater. Yes. If we saw something like that, but there he, would be no complaint. He is put in a precarious situation and the demon is gloating and he goes, I have a move for this exact situation that we had never seen previously. That we had no hint to previously. It takes away stakes that he just busts out this move instead of us going, oh my goodness, what can he do? Sanji is not as good as a fish man underwater. But guess what? Blow into his gills. It forces him to get uh, air and it forces uh, the, the fish man to get air. That solves the problem. Otherwise, he would be murdered underwater. We know what Fishman can do. We have seen this. But here, he just busts out this perfect move and he destroys him almost instantly. Doesn't need to breathe or anything. He just swings his sword and wins. Do you not understand stakes? The training is a big issue. Hey, and it cannot be excused structure. with three-act structure. Movies have less training than 45 minutes. And and what was the other one? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. 45 minutes. Remember that whole, I remember everything and I remember nothing thing? Here we go, right here. I no, do it's not. Gone. It's it's done so. The characters' morals and what he's trying to do. We understand the relationship between the main characters that drives them forward. We understand the villains' motives. We understand the world that these characters live in. We all enjoy all these aspects of Demon Slayer, and everything else. Pause. Is just... We all enjoy these aspects of Demon Slayer. I understand why people murder people. I don't have to like it. I understand that you had a rough childhood. I understand that the reason why you're beating your wife is because your mother was beaten by your father and that's all that you know. I don't have to like it. Do you understand that? Breezy. Hey, hey, hey. cut that out. <laughs> 
So unless I see something going wrong with those major story and structural points, then I gotta say Demon Slayer is holding up very well. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this show will go out like Game of Thrones or like One Punch Man. But for now, the show... Uh, One Punch Man has not ended. The reason people yeah. hate the se- second season is because it's not as pretty. Yep, that's it. I've heard no story um, complaints. It's all just it, that it's just not pretty. There's one person I've ever heard go, I also think the story is trash, and that's Gavin. I don't agree, but I've read the manga. I don't know where that starts and ends. Mm-hmm. But as far as I've ever seen, it's One Punch Man dropped the second the animation dropped. People How went, what does this look like? Holy crap. And they went, this is not good. I, I ain't here for this. this Same story. Same characters. Better characters uh, depending on when it was. That Better is... fights depending on when it was. Nah. But it wasn't as pretty. Show is very consistently good. So, anyways, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You let your thoughts be known, and he did not respond. Most certainly did not. Timestamps, hard evidence, stuff like that. Nah. How about how about now? We responded. Uh, yeah, that's a negative ten. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna go nine point five on that one. Horrible examples. Horrible examples, absolutely. Horrible points. Horrible points, absolutely. What 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 could he have done to make it uh that give it that point five? I didn't get as angry as I should. I didn't feel the anger of like that DBZ one or anything. You know what I'm not even gonna use that because that's like my yeah. biggest one. Of like um Cosmos. His his in JoJo video. Didn't feel that anger, didn't feel that like seethingness nah, I'm horrible horrible point horrible i understand just just completely if, if you were to watch the just stop video you buy oh wow just stop gives so much context and explanations and stuff he goes into like nan and goes this is why nan is good and explained and when it's implemented we know exactly what it does no context here it's it's also very disingenuous yes. you don't you don't have that lens i do that's I'm probably saying, what helps it. Outside of that, even with that, these just horrible... Look, Avatar is doing it examples. Yeah, that's, I hate that type of That's show. piss. That is swill. Explain why your thing is good and not why other things do it, so why is it a problem here? Yes, that is the biggest thing. You guys aren't complaining about it over here, so why are you complaining about it here? Come on now. That, that's, what the, that's what the Bleach Debate dudes try to do. One Piece, One Piece the, has the same act structure, so why aren't people complaining about it over there? Well, shut up. <laughs> why is it always bleak? Shut up and just ex- explain your series. Explain why it's good to Booyah. you. Oh, yeah. That's all it is. Don't go under series, though. Yeah, 9.5. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll try not to overload people with Demon Slayer. We could. We absolutely could. Mm-hmm. And I would like to. <laughs> but it, it, I understand that people would be like, ah, I'm either you haven't watched Demon Slayer or you might like Demon Slayer and don't want to hear us trashing it or you just don't care. So I, I have a problem. You with, know what? Yes. You know what's funny? If after Naruto month, the next month is Demon Slayer month, it'd be it'd come around, out around the time of the season two. It absolutely would. That's kind of funny. That mug is coming out this year. That, that's funny to me. Naruto month is going to be fun though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this we like like you said in the beginning, we have so many videos without even searches. Hard hitters, two nux Nuk- taku videos, mother's basement, big big boys, yeah, crap this like is, that. This is just a small boy. So so yeah, we we could, and I would very much like to talk about this because this is one of the things I'm very passionate about. But I don't want to do that to the people. So the people. we've got um. This is going to come out way after the because reasons we're about to do. We're about to go into the manga of Demon Slayer for our next live stream. Uh, you guys aren't going to hear this so after the fact. Um, yeah. And then I think we're done with Demon Slayer for a little while. We'll, we'll, we'll buffer it with a couple videos. Yeah. We might do one like right before Naruto month. This is 43. So that would be two more. And then we will probably do a Demon Slayer for like 46. Hey, 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 you know what's next week? Mm-hmm. You know, our boy, our boy, our boy, totally not Mark, just put out his Greed Island part two arc. Oh, no. So so this time, next week, 
We in Chimera Ant Town, baby. You, mean, choo, you choo. in Chimera Ant Town. Chill. Now, what's going to happen when he goes... Yo, this trash. No, 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 no. Best arc that Simpsons clip in the very beginning. He, he has to. Because Mark is a bum. Hmm? He has to. He's not He's not, He's not. not ready for that discourse. I, I he, always wonder if these YouTubers, like, if they actually think these things or if they trick themselves into thinking these things because they know that's what the populace say. Or they just say it to not get the discourse. Because I think that I think that Mother's Basement, based on that video that we just saw, I don't think he likes my hero as much as he say, says that he does because he gives such poor points. Yeah. So he's just like, I, I don't know, man. Like, there's like brotherhood and there's sisterhood. Whatever. So that that's what I'm thinking. Because if I had to praise, like, ReZero, oh, it'd be a fluff video. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's gotta be. Hey, running. I can I can get some praise up for ReZero. Sure. That mansion arc is yeah. really f- and good. Praise Subaru. Um, I could before episode thirteen or whatever. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I absolutely could. Anyway, uh, he's willing to put his but, body but, on the line. But after to... that, it'd be fluff mode. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally sipping out of my water. <laughs> But yeah, it, I, something like this, dude, especially with the people that have to pump out videos consistently, like Mother's Basement, like um, um, iPad Wolf, people like that. I can't imagine that they're as passionate about things as they say that they are. Because iPad Wolf, I mean, um, just who the was that? Mother's Basement goes, y'all ain't talking about this great series over here. Well, you ain't talking about it. Yeah. We said that in the revisit episode where it's like you've got a platform to inform people of this series and you are not saying anything about it. Even based on what we saw in the video, he doesn't say what the the series was. And you know a lot of people are going to watch this series. Why wouldn't you go, I love more experimental stuff like blah, blah, and blah. So at least people would go, Mark likes this. He would like it to be more popular. Let me at least look into it. Because I would have looked into it, whatever he was talking yeah, about. That, I that been little le- clip looks interesting. It, it looked like good animation and everything. But I don't know what it is. Because he just did not say what it was. For some reason, he just chose to just go, eh, no. Yeah, I, I always wonder how much of YouTube is just trend search. It's, it's, it's got to be a whole lot. Because we, we saw when we downloaded or looked through the videos just... On the side, it's just Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer. It's the biggest thing. You think, do you think that uh, in Mother's Basement or iPad Wolf would get away unscathed if they said, yo, this kind of trash. Yo, this kind of mid, to be honest. You think they would get away with that? Mm. They're not They're not trying to rock the boats. Yeah, that's the thing. Especially, I don't know if they would or wouldn't get away with it because they're big enough to go, well, I respect your opinion. I can see a lot of people just throwing up their hands going, mm-hmm. I respect your opinion. Because uh, Katana Prime had said some off-the-wall stuff on Twitter and somebody was like, uh, I don't agree with you at all, KP, but I respect your opinion because it's mm-hmm. you. So I can see a lot of people doing that type of stuff. At the same time... Um, I agree that it's about not rocking the boat. It's it's totally not Mark syndrome of just I'm gonna put, give do whatever I can to make these two equal series. Let's be honest here, no opinions, objectively equal series, the equal amount of points, and then you decide. That is pure and simple. I'm not gonna rock the boat. That's the greatest. Like he, if you ever need to evidence of how little he wants to engage in such a coward that, that he was could not go move. look this I'm going to artificially make these points I'm going to do whatever I can I'm going to pick whatever categories I want but I'm still going to make it a tie and then, and then you, you decide you guys decided that one piece is better and that's that's y'all's opinion that's what YouTubers who, who who have it as a job mm-hmm. have to do. But I don't know if you have to do that. You can just be good and not... Because H-Bomb just does whatever the f- nope. he wants. Nope. That, 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 uh, in that anti, that vaccine video was in a 
Beautiful. Um, I was crying laughing. Disgusted. I was crying laughing. Disgusted. And this whole morning, I just been watching his videos. Oh, you finally are going yeah. through them. What What have you seen recently? Because uh, some of the ones over uh, on uh, I definitely saw the flat Earth one. The flat Earth is one of my favorite it's... videos ever. So back in the thing I like about H Bomb is that he rewards longtime viewers. So he'll have that so back, uh, so back in as his background desktop Dude, or the horse that, that real death in. <laughs> That so bad killed me. <laughs> so how could they be wrong about unrelated issues? The Egyptians also believe that we were created through a, a lizard god named so bad, a sperm god, <laughs> who was the lord of semen. <laughs> And he just goes, as long as Sobek bless me with bountiful crops and plentiful sperm, I'll keep doing it. My sperm is never ending. Dude was killing me. I was just like, I, well, this is just my morning now. H-Bomb is legit that, one of my favorite YouTube, if not my favorite YouTuber. Disgusting. As far as the non-meme of DSP being mm. my favorite. But yeah, he he can do that stuff because he's well established enough, and and he's gonna be funny enough that and, and also that you know that when he puts out a video, it's gonna be an event because he puts out like what three four a year. Yeah, if even so, whatever. Even if it's like I don't personally agree with this, I know it's gonna be funny. I know it's, it's gonna well be researched. Well researched. I know he's gonna explain himself to such a degree that you can't fault this dude. He, he cites sources yes. and everything. But, as opposed to just going, look how great this is. And here's me making a funny noise or going, I can't believe that it was like this. And yeah. Stuff like that. Discourse is not allowed. You have to go with the popular opinion to gain an audience and keep the audience. That's why we aren't popular. On we, top of our video structure just being long yeah. form hour and a half, two hours of just like ragging on somebody. Yeah, we yeah. do not care We're about not gonna, what's popular. Dude, of course Mark is going to like Hunter Hunter. He has to. <laughs> he's going to he's gonna put in little, uh, like, look, this wasn't as good as this or whatever, whatever. But on the whole, he's going to constantly say, this was the greatest art. No other anime is doing stuff like that. Bloody, bloody, but They have to. And I'm sick of it. I am so sick of it. That 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 mother's basement video broke me. Because I'm really? like, this dude is not saying anything. I'm sitting there thinking about it like, I'm I'm not entirely sure that he likes this as much as he says he does. Because he or says maybe even almost at all. nothing. He might not like it at all. He said why it's good and it goes almost nothing. He doesn't talk about Bakugo's development, something that's super easy to point out. He just goes action pretty, uh, uh, animation pretty, uh, societal themes, brotherhood, sisterhood, and he and he does not point to anything and go brotherhood, sisterhood. Anything tangible. He he shows Seroph and Kaminari and Karishima, and we didn't know what the f- they were talking about. I said it in that video, but like I couldn't give you thirteen words Sarah has ever said. So he either he is a really bad YouTuber that just just like I don't even need to explain myself. These people will know what I'm talking about and they'll clap just because I'm praising my hero, or he doesn't like it and he's not good enough to fake good things about the show. Yeah, because he had a lot to say about ReZero. But he had almost nothing to say about tangible, about substantive and stuff. It, and it's so like uh, I think that's why Rand is so popular because there's a large contingency of just I want to like bleach people. Yeah. Like, I, where's our tell me? Of- tell me why Eisen is so good. Tell me all the intricacies of everything. The bleach debate dude that we're talking about. He goes, I watched his Eisen video so I can learn how to write my own manga character. I'm like, why can't you just look at the manga and see for yourself and interpret what all the stuff that's going on? Why do you need I, I not Isaac? Why do you need uh, DBZ Imran to tell you the intricacies of Isaac's character and all that stuff? Because they're a casual viewer. It's of confirmation stuff bias. It's confirmation bias. 
That's why they love so many YouTubers because they're just telling them, hey, the thing you love absolutely is This great. is actually super deep. Yes, you were right about that stuff all along. So subscribe to me so you can learn how right you were when I do the next video on things. And then you can show it to your friends. Hey, see, I was right about it all along. Here's a YouTuber explaining it. Why can't you explain it? Why can't you talk about it? I'm, I'm just looking through Mother's Basement video and just like, what? What is he? What discourse does he have? What is? What is he going? No, this is actually not that good. What could be the next Attack on Titan? And he shows Chainsaw Man and and Inosuke. Chainsaw Man was great. I keep hearing that. And I wanna. Want to check it out? <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, best fights in Avatar, the world of One Piece. It's all just fluff. Hey, fluff. clap along. Made in Abyss, the wonderful horror of it. It's there, there's not things that are just like, look, ReZero isn't as good as what people say it is. You're not going to hear that from a, 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 a 600,000 and above person. That's not where the money comes from. You can easily, as Mark is going through, he can easily just go, Thriller Bark isn't my favorite because he's already praised, he's already praised One Piece enough and Thriller Bark isn't a beloved arc like that. Mm -hmm. He can't go like that with Whole Cake or, or, or CP9 or anything like that. That's why he's able to go, uh, hey, super kind of stinky. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people out there going super kind of stinky, so he feels like the, he is allowed to say that. There's enough people going, it's kind of stinky, that he could sway some people in the, yo, it's good camp, and then the other people are just confirmation bias. Or, or the people in the good camp are just like, yeah, it is kind of stinky, but I do like it. It is, it's, it's, it's terrible. It, they're playing the game, and I guess that's what you got to do to be popular and successful and everything. But then you look at DBZ and Ryan, and what did he have on Patreon? Like forty bucks, dude. I'm, I, I've been looking up all these YouTubers. They got like five hundred thousand uh, subscribers, two hundred thousand subscribers, hundred thousand subscribers, and they got like they're making like eighty bucks. Like, they're making like fourteen dollars. Like what happened? It's, it's very odd. Some people are, it's, it's for personality and I like you and I'm going to support you. Some people are like, you are you are talking about this series and when you're not talking about this series, I'm not rocking with you. Because you look at like DBZ Imran, when he talks about something else. Yeah, it's a rap. It's, it's, a it's, rap. it's dizzy done. But when he goes back to Bleach, it's all up in, um, yeah. Top 10 openings of all time, 17K. Soy Fawn, 50K. And that's just the long and short of it. And it's so quick. They're so quick to get subscribers that it's hard to even tell if they're actually popular or a lot of people just click the subscribe button because I was looking through, um, I was trying to see if I was wrong about Oceanus' name, so I wanted to go back to that. I think it was a, a 10K subscribe. It might have even been a, a 1K Subscribers. It was the 1K or 10K special reveal of face and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then that was like two years ago. And now he's at like 85K in two years. So he's doing 40K a year minimum to get that. And that's if it was already at 10K. If not, it's closer to like 45K minimum a year. Mm -hmm. For what? Blowing my hero? Very odd. The people are very And odd. that man is boring. Nah, it's boring. Holy crap, I almost yeah. fell. I legit fluttered my eyes watching a video of his. You are already sleepy. You're being disingenuous. I had to sit up and go, whoa. And then I stayed up for another three hours after that. Nah. You you were already sleepy. I'm 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 sick of your lies. Can we please get some emotion when you say what's, what's wrong with emotion? I'm so tired of this monotonous. Now, I don't mind you saying the monotonous things or speaking monotonously, but please try. I, I mind it if we got clips of you not doing it. Because if you look at Oceanus, boy, just a normal dude. He's just a normal guy. But then when his video... Sure, no. Same thing with Eyepatch Wolf. 
He's very, he's very up. But in his videos, this is Dragon Ball. And it's, and it's and the emo, none of that. It's, 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 nobody goes to museums. Why do you think people want to hear you talk like you in a museum? Museums are fly though. Go to museums. I actually like museums. That's it. What? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing else. We ran it so long about YouTubers, dude. Just dumb stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're dumb people. We established this last time. Um, so next video, um, I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, actually. we do. No, we don't. It's gonna be part one of, of and the Chimera Ant. We're really doing it. Are, are you not? I will do it myself. We don't even know if it's gonna be worth anything. Do you want? Do you want a snippet of what he's talking about in the Greed Island? Yeah, I'll, let me hear the first part of Greed Island. Part two or part one? Part one, because I want to. I, I want his initial thoughts on Greed Island. Because I want to see if he says it's a great art too. and the best arc so far and by that i mean i had more fun in the first half of this arc than i did pretty much with any of the others and it had a brilliant balance of emotion action and narrative creating a wonderful cacophony that rang beautifully in my ears however on the other hand <laughs> Yeah, this arc has some of what I thought were the lowest points in the series in terms of entertainment. Yeah, I can stop you. Wait, wait, hold on. Go back. Go back a little bit. Never mind. Go back just a smidge. It looks like he's talking about his wordy. This arc has some of what I thought were the lowest points in the series in terms of entertainment value. Pause. Mother... Are we revisiting him <laughs> right here now? Are we gonna... What, what's going I don't on care here? if it's a low point of entertainment. I don't care if you clapped or jumped for joy is, or you were in dope. Do. Is it here? any good? You're, you're already adding this caveat of, oh, the first part was so, it's such a beautiful psychopathy of all this stuff. But then the later half, I wasn't entertained. See, Why can't... do you speak so beautifully on the good stuff and then just go, well, I wasn't necessarily entertained for the other half, so whatever. Because he needs to have it both ways. We talked about this. So it's up having some of my favorite stuff out of the series, period. So, what are we waiting for? Let's jump into this video. Some of your favorite stuff out of... Green Island sucks! Dude, this is a minute of Greed Island. Green Island sucks! Imagine Chimera Ant. This is a minute of Green Island! And he's he's like, offered no arguments. <laughs> it's it's a beautiful scopity and of all this rings into my ear, this flowery whatever language, and then he just goes, "Y'all wasn't entertained." And you're going, "Are we doing the chimera? Are we? Are, what are you talking about?" I guess we're doing the chimera. Yeah, Ant we doing the chimera at our next. Ugh. <laughs> But oh, damn. how do we even do it? What do you mean? So we'll do part one of his, which will probably be like four parts of us. And then do we just go back to it every week? Because it wouldn't be a new yeah. episode. How would yeah, we do that? that? Very odd. Hmm. How would we do that? It would just have to be one long form episode 43 and we put out episode 49 alongside it. Probably. <laughs> I can't wait for it to end though. Yeah, there's no there's no chance we wait for that. Yeah. We're not waiting another three weeks for it. So yeah, we whatever we ought to do to make this come out when it comes out, that's what it's going to be, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In Minute Agreed Island. It's the best, and I get this trash out of here. 